Hello, 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 everyone. I am Prophet Dr. Dana Reese, the Eagle Prophet Visionary. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is September the 26, 2021. And I went on YouTube tonight and shared a prophetic word um, that lasted a little over an hour. And so what I am doing right now is releasing a condensed version and I want to invite you to my next prophetic prayer call, which is going to be this Thursday night, September the 30th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have a friend who's a prophet named Prophet Patrick Thomas. He pastors a church in Ohio, and he's also going to be on the call. So uh, what we're going to do is have kind of an interactive call where um, I'm releasing prophetic words and he's releasing prophetic words. And so I wanna invite you to, to come on this call and I wanna share some testimonies with you uh, from men and women of God who have been on these calls. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me uh, two years ago in August to launch these calls. It was a divine instruction. And the way it came about, uh, one Saturday morning, I was getting ready um, to, to go on live on YouTube and I looked at my cash app and a ministry partner had suddenly sent me a seed of $120. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, uh, the man of God didn't know it, but God was actually using him to launch these calls because the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, this is a prophetic seed. He said, I want you to start hosting monthly prayer calls and uh, for a seed in this amount of $120. And he said, watch the miracles that I'm gonna do in the lives of the people. So I received the pattern from the Lord and I've been hosting these prayer calls once a month um, on the last Thursday of every month. And so the way the format is set up, if you register for the call, you will be um, included during the group call and I will share a word, and then my guest minister shares a word, and then we, we prophesy and pray over every individual. Also, those who sign up for the call will receive a one-hour private one-on-one -on -one call with me as well. And God moves mightily during these one-hour prophetic calls. In fact, I've prophesied into the lives of many of my ministry partners on these calls. So I would just wanna share a testimony with you that I received actually today and the woman of god said i want to write and share with you what amazing things god has been doing in my life she said on may the 17th i was on a prayer call with you and requested that you pray that god would bless me with a job that was close to my elderly parents so that i could continue to help care for and support them thank you so much for praying for me in that prayer call, you told me that God would honor my prayer request because of the honor that I'm showing my parents. Well, it turns out that God did bless me with a job, which I started last month. Although the physical location of the job is 2.5 hours away from my parents, I've been assigned to work on a project in which the site for the project is only 30 minutes away from my parents. It also turns out that the position was created as a result of a donor giving a sizable amount of money to the organization where I work. This particular donor is a senior advisor at a company whose assets are worth more than $50 billion. To God be the glory. To top it off, God has also blessed me with a place to live in the midst of a really crazy housing market. At first, I was told that my application for housing was passed over as there were multiple people who'd applied to live at the same location in which I applied. However, a week later, I received a phone call in which I was told that the person who was selected for the house was not approved and that I was next in line. I was approved for the house and moved in on September the 22nd, the first day of fall. It was as if God was saying that my season had changed as the season changed. I am truly in awe of all that God is doing. Thank you for interceding on my behalf. Thank you for being a willing, willing 
an obedient vessel. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. To God be the glory. I received another um, testimony from a woman of God who had been on a prophetic prayer call and then during our one-on-one -on -one call, I had prayed for her. And she said, the last time we prayed together, I was seeking God for a new opportunity at work. I had just been rejected from a position that I would applied for in Europe. And you told me that God closes doors for a reason. This week, I was told that I was accepted for a job I applied for in the United States. I am currently just waiting on a formal job offer. When you prayed for me, you prophesied that my career change would change before the end of the year. Well, this note is to let you know that God has done it before the end of the year. He closed the door to Europe and opened the door to America. Praise God. Thank you for your love and your ministry. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going through here to find some more testimonies. Here's another testimony. It says, God, hello, Prophet Dr. Dana. God did it in seven days like he said he would. God released my son's held up unemployment compensation benefits to God be the glory. I don't know which live stream service it was where you said that some of you will receive what you've been praying for and believing for in seven days. Um, well, September the 9th to the 16th uh, was the time frame, and my son's unemployment benefits were deposited into, deposited into the bank, and it's been seven days. Hallelujah to God. Be the glory. Thank you, God. I have another testimony. I just want to share with you, Prophet Dana, that a word that you gave me over a year ago came to pass. At the time you gave me the word, a manager that I worked directly under was very manip manipulative and sabotaging toward me. It wasn't even a subtle attack. It was out in the open and seemingly went unchecked. During one of our prayer calls, you prophesied that this manager had a spirit of Jezebel, but God had me covered and that I would eventually be offered that very position. Several months later and a lot of prayer, after a lot of prayer, I left the company after being very blessed financially and even awarded for my work. No weapon formed against me prospered. Well, last week, I got a call from upper management in that company asking me if I would consider taking that position. And that was the fulfillment of a prophetic word that I gave like seven, um, a, a year ago. Hallelujah. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time for prophetic words to come to pass. So that's why it's important for us to be patient and continue to stand on God's word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I have another praise report um, from a woman of God. Um, on August the 16th, during a live stream, I had prophesied that God would grant, will grant your petition within 21 days, which fell by September the 6th. Uh, which was the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. And the woman of God says, I have a praise report. My son, Edwin, got the job at Progressive Insurance. Then I looked at the job's name, Progressive. He will progress because of the seed sown and prayer. Thank you, God and Prophet Dr. Dana. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Here's another testimony. Um, I had prophesied to a woman of God that she would get a teaching job so she sowed seeds and we prayed. Well, God answered. She sent me a text and said she got a part-time virtual teaching position and that she will get the contract tomorrow. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Um, let me go through here. I'm looking for some more testimonies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Have another testimony, a praise report from a woman of God. Um, she said, our son sold their house today on Friday, the 26th. I planted my seeds, now waiting for a call for that new job. So she had sowed a seed for a double portion seed of $61.07 for the 
for her son's house to sell and it sold 48 hours later hallelujah i have another prayer call um uh, from a man of God who has been a ministry partner of mine for over a year and I had been prophesying to him for many months that he would get promoted on his job and had even prophesied that during a recent prayer call well the next day he sent me a text that said I want to share with you that I received my promotion and my official start date is August the 29th I'd been prophesying to him for about a year that he was going to get promoted and to God be the glory. Um, that word was fulfilled. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I just want to say that I give God the credit and the glory. It's not me. It's the anointing of God um, that is in me. I have another testimony um, that says one, well, one week ago I prophesied uh, that uh, petitions will be granted within 21 days and so a woman of God sowed she said I sowed the $21 seed and I just received notice that the disability office will be depositing my disability check starting in September she had sowed a seed into that word and her money was released hallelujah to God be the glory thank you Lord thank you God thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Here's another testimony. Um, it says, Hi, Prophet Dana. I just want to thank you for your ministry. It is so refreshing and inspiring to see someone like you who is truly walking with the Holy Spirit rather than following religious narratives or living in their own opinion. May God continue to reward you for your faith and obedience. I just wanted to let you know that I just sowed a seed of $26 for reconciliation of relationships over the next 26 days. This was one of the things that I put on my vision board and I believe God is doing it in this hour. My mother-in-law is meeting up with her estranged brother and my mother contacted my brother and sister-in-law who are estranged from her. I'm going to talk to my sister-in-law about it today. And I'm asking for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I have another testimony. It says, Hi, Prophet Dana. I just want to tell you about unexpected financial returns, which have materialized after my seed sowing. I got offered a gig unexpectedly last week, which paid $200 and got asked about another one in September that will pay at least 300. We also got yet another unexpected escrow refund refund check from our mortgage company today in the mail for over $1000. I know all of this is due to seed sowing to God be the glory and I'm th truly thankful for and blessed by your ministry. Have another testimony. Um well actually it was just a little word that someone sent me she said dear prophet dana thank you for the amazing testimonies thank you for the sacrifices you make for us to bring god's glory so powerfully to break the yokes i love and honor the anointing on you and the eagles ministry may the lord increase the oil on your life in jesus name got another testimony from a woman of god who got behind on her rent during the pandemic and when the eviction moratorium was lifted she was evicted so I prayed with her for God to open a new door, even though it looked impossible at the time. Um, she had some issues on her credit, but to God be the glory, she was approved for her new apartment. Thank you, Lord God. I prayed for another woman of God who had COVID, and I received a testimony that the COVID symptoms have withered. Val is back at work and school. Please send the testimony to the apostle that you prayed with. This is a great victory, prophet. Thank you. Received another prophetic word. Um, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Well, this is a, just a word of encouragement. Uh, and the word says the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about you. There's a shift coming to your ministry. You're going to have influence in multiple regions. The Lord is going to bring you into new apostolic relationships. The gift and anointing and call will not be restricted 
by the organizations and structures of man, says the Holy Spirit. You shall brought, be brought before apostles, government, CEOs to bring order. It's a new season, a new authority, and new boldness. The hand of the Lord is with you, says the Lord, and you will build with accuracy because you've listened to my heart, my will, my way, says the Holy Ghost. The Lord says, I have you. An abundant blessing is being released because you have been faithful. Hallelujah. Got a testimony from a woman of God. We've been praying for her mom's unemployment money to be released, and it was released. Hallelujah. We've been praying for a couple of months about that, and she had also sown seeds towards that. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Have another testimony. Hi, Prophet Dana. Just want to share with you that since I sowed a thousand dollar seed at the beginning of the month, I have seen God move mightily in my family and in my marriage. I have also seen God provide financially and provide more side gigs for me, which have paid very well. I know this is only the beginning, but I sowed the seed in faith for divine acceleration of manifestation of promises and a thousandfold return over the next six months and I am already seeing so much fruit from this. I want to encourage others to sow what the Holy Spirit is telling you to sow. Your obedience will be rewarded and this is good ground. Don't let a spirit of fear hold you back. If God has been asking you to sow a large seed, there will be a large harvest. If you sow into good soil and this ministry is good soil. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I've got more testimonies that I could share a lot more, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just close out. I just want to want to share with you that we are in a season of harvest and prophetic fulfillment. And so we came through Rosh Hashanah, which was the beginning of the, of the Jewish New Year. We went through the 10 days of awe, the Day of Atonement. And so we are now in the Feast of Tabernacles, which ends tomorrow on Monday, September the 27th. So this is the time to pray. This was a time that the Israelites praised God for what he brought them through. He brought them out of Egypt and for where he was take where he was taking them to, which was um, in the promised land, which was Canaan. So this is a time to praise God. Um, I shared on my main my uh, full video that it's important to call forth that which you're believing for, to confess the word of God, to decree and declare what you're believing for, and to continue to pray and to praise. And to continue to sow seeds. And you know, um, when Paul and Silas were in prison, and they put them in the inner part, of, it, it talks about that they were put in prison because there was a, a woman that had a spirit of witchcraft on her. She was a soothsayer, basically a psychic. And um, they cast that spirit out. And so they were put in prison as, re as retaliation. And... They were put in the inner part of the prison. Their feet were put into stocks. And so they started praising God. And as they praised God, what happened was the doors of the prison were supernaturally opened. And only God could do that. And not only were the doors opened, but the jailer took them home, cleaned up their wounds, gave them a meal, and then the magistrates released them the next day. And as I was releasing this word about, it's, it's chapter, it's Acts 16, chapter 16 through 40, and it says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken, at once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and he saw the prison doors open. He drew his sword 
and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself. We are all here. And so then they ministered and spoke the word of the Lord to the jailer. The jailer took them home and his whole household was saved. Hallelujah. So as they praised and worshiped, suddenly the doors were open. And so God spoke to me that in this hour, and as we're in the last few hours of the Feast of Tabernacles, the Lord wants us to stay in praise and worship. And Psalm 67, 5 through 6 says, May the nations praise you, O God. May all the nations praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 4, 17 says, I've made you the father of many nations, and God who gives life to the dead calls into being that which does not exist. Job twenty two twenty eight says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established for you, so light will shine on your way. So I shared that we're in a new season now. I bought a new watch. I felt led to a couple of weeks ago, not even knowing that we were coming into Rosh Hashanah, and God spoke to me that it was a prophetic act. So when two people synchronize their watch, they set it for the same uh, time. And so God is saying, it's time to set our timetable with his. It's time to get synchronized with God's time frame because his timing is a little bit different from ours. ours. You know, Abraham and Sarah were not synchronized with God's timetable. They got impatient, and that's why they birthed an Ishmael. So they they had to repent and get back in agreement and alignment with God's timetable, and then they were able to birth Isaac. So God fulfilled his promise. What has God promised you? Get Come into agreement with God's timetable. We're in a new put your agenda aside. God knows your need. He knows what you're praying for. Put it on the altar and trust him to do it the way he wants to do it and how he wants to do it. Hallelujah. God has a ram in the bush for you. And when we read that passage, it says the Lord will provide. Hallelujah. So continue to stand on the word, confess the word, decree the word, praise the Lord, and continue to sow. And I want to invite you to sow a seed into this anointing for open doors. And I, I said earlier on my other video that God spoke to me and showed me that within the next 38 to 48 days, you're coming into a season of three to five consecutive open doors, consecutive wins, consecutive victories, answers to prayer, breakthrough, blessings. So that's between now and Thanksgiving. It could happen for you next week. It could happen tomorrow, but I want to invite you to sow a seed into this anointing, an open door anointing for three to five consecutive open doors over the next 38 to 48 days. The seed amounts are $120 if you want to be on the next prayer call um, Thursday night, or you can sow a seed of $138. Also, the next level is $67 $38 and $22. God also spoke to me about a seed of $380. There's someone, there's three open doors that you're believing for within 38 days. And God is speaking to you about sowing a seed of $380. He also spoke to me about a $670 seed and a thousand dollar seed. Just obey the Lord. If that's not for you, it's not for you. But if God is telling you to sow a thousand dollar seed or a three hundred and eighty dollar seed, get just get a seed into the ground, sixty seven dollars, thirty eight dollars, twenty two dollars, a hundred and twenty dollars. Just get a seed in the ground at whatever level the Lord is speaking to you, and we we're going to set our faith in agreement for this harvest. You can sow um, on my PayPal at Prophet Dana Reese. You can sow on my Cash App at Prophet Dana Reese 7. I accept Venmo, Chime, Apple Pay, 
Walmart to Walmart, Western Union, MoneyGram. You can mail your seed to Post Office Box 21834, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72221. Um, and if you have any questions about how to sew, I also accept Zelle. You can email me at ProfitDanaReese at gmail.com. So I encourage you, if you can, get on this next prayer call and get your seed in the ground. It is September the 30th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Send me your testimonies and your praise reports. Email them to ProfitDanaReese at gmail.com. If you want to sign up for text alerts, text eagle to that's e-a-g-l-e thank you lord let me get the number here to 888-936-9098 and the number will also be under on, on the link to this video so if this video blessed you please like it share it subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook at prophet dr dana reese I'm on Instagram at Prophet Dr. Dana Reese. I'm on Twitter, Dana Reese One. I love you. I'm praying for you. I just decree and declare the blessings of God on your life, that your harvest is coming forth, that you are surrounded with favor as a shield. And if you want me to pray for you, email your prayer request to me at Prophet um, Dana Reese at gmail.com. And I plan to be on live again next week. Sunday night, um, which will be, um, let me get the date here, w in next Sunday night, which I believe today is the 26th, so I believe it'll be like October the, um, let me see here, October the 3rd, hallelujah, October the 3rd, so I want to invite you to join me, so I love you, I'm praying for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.